you know, a friend of mine the other day was trying to understand what it is I do now, or what I ever did as an artist. I said, I'm in that studio by myself with this material and trying to negotiate with that material to create something. In the studio, a painter is a very solitary pursuit. You're like this monk in a retreat, trying to commune with some sort of greater energy. Mostly I sit and stare. That's what I spend my time doing, is I sit and stare, waiting for God to yell in my ear. And a lot of times, painting is just sort of a, this process of intuition, and sometimes you don't always know why you're doing what you're doing. Sometimes you know exactly why. I don't know what it's like for most artists, but for me, you start with an intent. You start with an idea of a color or a, a, a certain palette, a certain structure that you want to capture. But the material doesn't always do what you want it to do. So in the beginning, let's just spill some paint on the canvas because the emptiness of it is, is making me crazy. And let's start with a color thought and go from there. And once you've got some material on the canvas, then there's stuff to react to. And there's stuff that I love, and there's stuff that I don't like, and there's stuff that's problematic. And then as, as the picture sort of finds its way onto its own two feet, it takes on a life of its own. And then the problem is, when do you stop? The end game has always been the most anxious part of it. It's like, do you stop now? It's not always apparent. Sometimes you just have to let the work sit for a while and I have to sit and stare at it and wait for God to yell in my ear to say, you're done, leave it alone. Or, come on, you're not done yet. You need to do more. I'm in a position in my life now where it really doesn't matter. I don't have to make a living off the work. But one of the things that really was helpful when I got back into it, when I, start, when I just started drawing again and started making collages, just down in the basement of the house, it was kind of like, you know what? I don't have to prove anything to anybody. And, and that, that, that's the way it was in the beginning. You know, that, that's the way it was when it started out. And, and it was kind of a, an exploration. It was a following of the flame into the darkness. And let's see what we find. Some paintings have a kind of incomprehensible magic to them. They have their own personality, their own, their own path and they've declared themselves and asserted themselves and said, here, here I am. There's just something great about certain paintings. And I love that, you know, it sort of defies logic. And that's, that's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm chasing.